Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now. I just received a box of dozens of phones that are part of the Pocket Now archive of devices that goes back many, many years. I don't know what's in the box, but I'm really excited to find out. There's going to be some weird and wacky phones in the box, some old phones, some new phones, some phones I don't even think I've ever seen before, some phones you've never seen before. These phones belonged to different Pocket Now people along the years. Some of the phones belonged to Michael Fisher, some of the phones belonged to Juan Carlos Bagnell, some of them belonged to me like 10 years ago, and they've just been passed around to different Pocket Now editors over time. So let's get to the mega unboxing and see what's in this mystery box. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm super excited to see what's in this box. I lit literally have no idea what's in it. Uh, but I know that there's probably going to be some weird and wacky stuff that goes back years and years. So let's let's unbox it. And I've got my cleaning chamois here because some of these phones might be dirty. But let's take a look. This is a big box. Okay. Packaged really well. Let's get this out. So, there's a box within the box. We'll get this big box out of the way. Okay, here we are. So let's get our hands dirty and see what's inside. Here's the first one, the Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra. So the cool thing about this phone, um, a lot of people didn't buy the uh, XA Ultra, the XA1 Ultra, and the XA2 Ultra. The cool thing about this phone is that it has really small bezels on the sides, and it's just a very large screen phone. It's got a nice metal build on the back. It's got these really cool chamfers and this really nice blue color. This is a really nice phone, actually. It's pretty slim for being a, such a large screen. That's the XA2 Ultra. That's a cool phone. Next. Looks like we have some accessories here. OnePlus 5 case. Not that interesting. Oh, wow. Sony Clie. This is so cool. Definitely gonna do a video about this. This is one of the early PDAs that had a really interesting convertible design. You could use it as a standard phone, like a, like a Motorola uh, StarTech. You could have use the dedicated keyboard, which is actually pretty nice. You can use it with a touch screen up here, or you could flip it around to this side. Actually, I want to turn this one on and just use it for a minute while I go through the other phones. How do you turn this? Oh, here it is. Does this camera swivel around? Where's the camera? Super weird phone. I'm going to turn it on. This is called a personal entertainment organizer. Might not even have a charge, actually. Yeah, I don't think it has a charge. And it's got a super proprietary port, which um, works with this crazy thing. So I'm gonna have to plug that in, charge it up, and see what it's like. See what else we have in here. Oh my gosh, it's the Motorola Q. Do you remember this phone? This phone ran an early version of Windows Mobile. It's so small and so light. And it's got this really good keyboard. This was a direct competitor with the BlackBerry phones of the day. I actually want to turn this one on. Hope it has a charge. Oh, it had the scroll wheel on the side, which was really, really cool. A lot of these probably have no charge. I wonder how this, probably micro SD, let's see. Uh, that's not it. Oh, here it is, mini USB. I probably don't even have a mini USB connector lying around, but I'll have to look. So this one's totally dead too. Oh yeah, this is awesome. This is the, um, I think this is the Sony Vio P clamshell phone. Whoa, this is awesome. This was so expensive back in the day. I don't even know what operating system this runs. Um, and I really want to turn it on, but I bet it probably has no charge. Let's see here. It charges with um, micro USB, so that's good. Turn it on, see if anything happens. This thing is huge. Did anything happen? No, okay. Let's try it again. 
Very few people bought this device just because look at it. But I think it might be a really cool productivity tool. I definitely want to take a look at this fully. Really cool phone. And I really do forget the exact name of it. But maybe if you know what this is called, leave a message in the comments. All right, so let's move on. Let's put that to the side into the charge pile. You're gonna have to charge a lot of these phones. What's next? There are just so many phones in here. This is awesome. This is like the best day of my life. Oh yeah, the original HTC One. This was an amazing phone. One of the first all metal phones. Actually, this is my phone. I can tell because there's a dent in it from like seven years ago. This is one of the last phones that beats audio, but just a beautifully designed phone. A little dirty. Had really loud boom sound speakers. Relatively small screen for today's standards, but back then this was awesome. It just felt so high quality And it was super fast Okay What is this I have no idea maybe it's like the XC premium um, Really have no way of knowing it's USB-C, so it's a relatively new Sony phone um, It's got the fingerprint sensor on the side. I have no idea what phone this is Maybe I, that, this one will work, so I'll turn it on. Oh yeah, it vibrated. We'll come back to that in a sec. I'm looking at the screen up close. It looks really sharp. It might be the XE, XE Premium with the 4K display. That would be amazing. All right, let's keep going here. Oh yeah! It's the OnePlus X. Wow, that's something you don't see every day. This is when OnePlus decided to make an all glass phone before the OnePlus 6. Oh, this is so nice. It's got an AMOLED screen, really good for one-handed usability. It's got really nice metal trim around the edges. This is a super cool phone. Hope it turns on, let's see. Yep, vibrated. It's got micro USB on the bottom. This phone is awesome. Hey look, the Sony phone went on. Let's see if we can see what model it is. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get into this device. This, is, this device was reset to continue signing with the Google account that was previously synced with this device. So I'm gonna to have to figure that out. I still have no idea what phone this is, but I, I really do think it's the XC Premium. Let me know if, in the comments if you have any idea what Sony phone this is. Let's move on. Hey look, the OnePlus X turned on. Wow, this phone's just so awesome. It's so thin and so light and s probably really fast because you know, it's, it's, a, it's a OnePlus phone. Probably doesn't have um, the most recent version of Android or anything even close. Um, it's so cool to see a OnePlus phone in this form factor. What a beauty, wow. I think it has Android um, lollipop, let's see. This phone's so cool, what a beautiful screen. Wow, this is running Android 5.1. And I doubt there's an update, but I'll check, or maybe I can flash something from XDA. What a nice phone. Too bad OnePlus stopped making the um, OnePlus X. It's a really cool product. Super nice. Just a really great one-handed phone. Let's move on. Got some more phones in here, a lot more to go. This is really, really fun. Let's see what we have here. Looks like we have Huawei. I think this is the Mate 10 Pro. Yeah, looks like the Mate 10 Pro in mocha. Beautiful color, wow. Never seen it in this color. Super nice, super nice. It's got a screen protector on it with the Leica camera. This is a really great phone and I love the color. Mate 10 Pro, great phone. Next. Oh, heck yes. It's the Nexus 5 in white with the white earpiece. Love this phone. People that had this phone really, really like it. It's just, it's small, it's fast, got great battery life. They fixed the camera with a software update so it actually takes really good pictures. It's got micro USB. This is an old phone, um, so it doesn't have the new stuff. It's got an old processor, it's a little bit dirty, but super excited to have the Nexus 5 back. This was such a good phone. And what's this? Oh cool, this is the OnePlus 5. Back when OnePlus did smaller screens. So of course this is the 5.5 um, inch display. It's It almost feels 
similar in size to the OnePlus X, it's so small, compared to like the OnePlus 6 and 5T. So, you know, good size screen, got the hardware button down here, fingerprint sensor on the, on the front. Really nice metal build. Just a beautiful, really great phone, the OnePlus 5. Okay, let's keep going. This is awesome. There are so many phones left in this box. Got an iPhone, looks like the 7 Plus. So nothing interesting to say about that. Oh wow, this is a cool case on the Nexus 6P. I wonder what color this Nexus 6P is. Black, that's nice. Do you guys remember this phone made by Huawei? Really fast, great phone. This is really one of the first Google made phones that had an actually good camera. And uh, this is actually in really good condition. And this case is awesome, I love it. I'm gonna keep it in there. Nexus 6P, let's see what else we got. The old Samsung Galaxy Note 8. In black, pretty good condition. I never really liked this phone. It's just too big and slippery, especially when you start using it and it gets a little greasy. You really need a case on it, and then it gets even bigger when you put a case on it. But um, if you want the S Pen, if you want to have a big, bad, fast Samsung phone, this is the one to get. Let's move on. I just can't believe how many phones there are. This is like phone heaven. Oh, it's the BlackBerry Passport. I've never actually seen one of these in person. What a ridiculous phone. It's got this really large, spacious hardware keyboard. It runs BlackBerry OS, I forget which version. I really want to turn this on and see it. It's got micro USB. This is an AT&T unit. Let's see, I guess the power's on the top. What a silly place to put a power button on such a big phone. This might be dead too. Yep, looks like it has no battery. So, it's another one we'll have to charge up. I'll probably want to do a video about this. Whoa, does the back come off? That is super rare. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. Just a little panel comes off. For micro SD expansion, to put your SIM card in. This actually feels really good in the hand. Too bad BlackBerry OS is not good. If this ran Android, it would be really, really cool, right? Just to have the... The screen is not tall, it's just wide. Great for spreadsheets and other boring things, but really cool phone, BlackBerry Passport. It's not something you see every day. More phones here. Oh, cool, it's the LG G Flex. Wasn't this the phone that has the self-healing back? I think so. If you scratch the back and you rub it with heat, it will um, self-heal. Apparently not really to um, perfection because there's a lot of scratches on here. You got the old school LG volume buttons on the back, which uh, is kind of a cool place. And the idea with this phone is that it kind of has a nice curve to it, so it feels good against your face for phone calls. Really rare phone you don't really see very much of. Micro USB. I'm gonna turn it on. Probably doesn't turn on, but hey, let's try. Nope, okay. Add to the charge pile. Wow, so many phones, this is the best. Okay, this looks like a Pixel Pixel XL original last year in very blue. This was a really cool color that most people didn't get. It's kind of offensive with the white front. They should have gone with the black front and blue back, uh, but this is the original Pixel XL. Really nice phone, still stands up well. You can get Android P developer preview on it if you want at this point. Really nice phone. Next. Looks like we have a Galaxy S9 here with a really cool case. No, this is not the Galaxy S9. Or actually it is. No, this is the Galaxy S8. Because you got the fingerprint scanner in the terrible location, single camera, and it's a smaller size. So Galaxy S8 with a really cool case. Okay. It looks like we have another OnePlus 5 here. Oh no, this is the OnePlus 3T or three, can't really tell by looking at it because the three and the three T looked about the same. But another really cool design for, for OnePlus. After the OnePlus one and the OnePlus two, the OnePlus three came out with this all metal build and it was kind of like the maturation of OnePlus going towards a really nice design. And this is just a beautiful phone with the gunmetal. 
Super nice. Has a case, leave it in the case. And let's see if there are any more phones. I think we're getting to the bottom of the box. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through real quick and figure out which phones I wanna make videos on because I wanna charge those. Definitely wanna do a video on the BlackBerry Passport. Definitely wanna do a video on this, whatever it is. This is so cool. Hope I can charge it. Um, let's see what else. Um, definitely want to do a video on the old Sony Clie. I mean, how cool is this? This was really high technology for back in the day. It's so big. Oh, it runs Palm OS. Wow. That's actually good because, um, Palm was pretty, pretty good by the time, you know, it was iterated on many times. Definitely want to do a video on the OnePlus X. Love that phone. Um, and finally got my eye on the, um, Definitely want to do a video on the XA2 Ultra. I think this is a very underrated phone. Most people don't even know that it exists. It's really cheap, actually, if you go on Amazon. You get it unlocked for like two or 300 bucks. Um, it's just a really cool phone with a huge screen and small bezels on the sides. Camera's not so great. Battery life is pretty good. Just a really great budget phone that you wouldn't expect people to think about. So you might be wondering, what are we going to be doing with all these phones? Well, a variety of things. I'm going to be making videos on the ones I just talked about. We will probably do some contests and give away some of these. Um, some of them that are older, we might try to sell on like eBay or Swappa. And the other ones we don't use, we'll just put in a box, put in a drawer, and save for someone else at Pocket Now to open up. Uh, these are really, really interesting phones, and I got to charge up these guys. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This was a lot of fun going back in time and seeing all these cool phones that have collected, we've collected in the Pocket Now archives over many years. So thanks for watching, and that's it for now.